What is up, obscure mic people? It's Bark coming at you yet again. And I'm on the SM58 to open up this video because this is the just the standard of handheld dynamic microphones. And what we will compare to this standard SM58 is the Superlux Eco 88. The Superlux Eco 88, which is about a $20 to $25 handheld dynamic microphone with an on off switch little smooth black different this thing actually is built really well it's got an all metal construction it feels excellent it is dense metal the head basket super hard can't dent it underneath the head basket we've got a capsule that is a little bit reminiscent of the Behringer XM8500 capsule. It's a neodymium capsule. By all means, nice construction, nice mic. Let's hook it up and see what it sounds like in comparison to the SM58. Before I do, just want to say I've got my gain, which I'm using the Yamaha. I'm going to do some Ronnie James Dio Yamaha sound for you. Yamaha! Yamaha AG06 Mark II which uh, I've decided I, I want to go back to, to being a mixer man. I just like mixers more. So let's go ahead and switch over from the 58 to the Eco 88. All right, so now we've got the Eco 88 wired up, and this is what it sounds like. Honestly, for a $20 to $25 mic, I don't think it sounds too bad. Now, I was really impressed with the build quality, but I got to say, let's do the handling noise. The handling noise is awful. It seriously feels like a really good mic, but handling noise is just not good. Not good at all. That's real bad. That's real bad. That was real bad. Let's see if the switch makes any audible noise when we turn it off. Turning it back on. Now we're going to take the microphone and we're going to throw some plosives into it. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Plosives suck. And when you get right on top of the Eco 88 from Superlux, this is what the Eco 88 sounds like from Superlux. Now we're going to take the microphone and try not to handle it much as we go 90 degrees off axis rejection. 180 degrees off axis. 90 again and back around to the front of the microphone yeah so this microphone 20 to 25 bucks i don't think it sounds bad it does have a little bit of nasality to it it's a little honky sounding at times but overall it's an okay mic on the bb sar i would probably go ahead and give this thing a three i think it does sound okay but the handling noise is really bad and the price range is an xm8500 so why 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 you know just why there's no reason really there's no reason to grab this unless you found it used for super cheap you mounted it as a podcast mic maybe 10 or 15 bucks otherwise i would pass on it even though it doesn't sound terrible it sounds okay it's just that's worse than the v2 switch from se i think probably easily maybe i don't know obscure mics peace out